Imagine a vigilante who's not just a hero, but a roller coaster of identities. Meet Mark Spector, a former Marine turned mercenary who gets an absurd twist of fate that would make your head spin. By day, he's a millionaire playboy. By night, he prowls the shadows as the mysterious Moon Knight. Um, no, we promise that we're not talking about Batman. With gadgets, grit, and a dash of supernatural, Moon Knight battles New York's underworld in a frenzy of action and mystery. He sets out on a voyage that blurs the lines between heroism and darkness with an intriguing demeanor. Join us on this journey as we explore the fascinating truths of Moon Knight. Buckle up, because Justice just got a lunar upgrade. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Who is Mark Spector? How does he become Moon Knight? Mark Spector is no ordinary guy. He's a former Marine, a CIA operative, and a gritty mercenary with skills that would make your head spin. But his life takes a sharp turn when a gig in Egypt goes sideways. Left for dead, he's saved by followers of the moon god Khonshu. Embracing this second chance, Mark transforms into Moon Knight, a complex vigilante with layers as intricate as the moon's phases. By day, he's Stephen Grant, a billionaire rubbing shoulders with high society. By night, he takes to the streets as cabbie Jake Lockley, tapping into the city secrets from the ground up, and of course, as the Moon Knight, the moonlit hero who's ready to pounce on any baddie daring to disturb the night. Conchu's touch blesses him with the heightened strength, combat prowess, and a dash of supernatural flair. Yet it's not all moonlit heroics. Mark's mind is a battleground of identities and struggles, with the moon as his ally and his quite literally fractured psyche as both a weapon and a weakness. Moon Knight leaps into action, ensuring that justice shines even in the darkest of nights. As my Moon Knight. Does he have mental sickness? Mark navigates a dual existence that intertwines supernatural powers with a complex mental landscape. At the heart of his complexity lies dissociative identity disorder, DID a mental health condition characterized by the presence of multiple distinct identities within one individual. Mark embodies three personas, the millionaire Stephen Grant, the taxi driver Jake Lockley, and the moonlit adventure Moon Knight. These identities serve as both a shield against his traumatic past and a manifestation of his inner turmoil. The supernatural aspects enters the stage through his connection with Khonshu. Khonshu's influence intertwines with Mark's DID, blurring the line between divine intervention and the manifestations of his own mind. The juxtaposition of supernatural powers and mental health struggles adds layers to Moon Knight's character's development. Mark's DID serves as a lens through which we explore the delicate interplay between reality and perception, sanity and chaos. His alter egos are more than mere disguises. They are coping mechanisms, reflections of his fragmented psyche attempting to make sense of the world. He uses his DID as a psychological safety net that covers his past almost like a cape. Does he have moon-based power, and does Moon Knight's ability get affected by phases of the moon? Moon Knight is a unique hero whose powers are intricately tied with the lunar cycle. His abilities may not be as straightforward as some other superheroes, but they're no less impressive. While he doesn't exactly shoot moonbeams, Moon Knight's powers, sure, are a direct result of his connection to the moon god Khonshu. During the phases of the full moon, his strength, agility, and endurance are notably enhanced. It's like he's tapping into the moon's energy reserve to supercharge his physical abilities. But at the same time, his powers do seem to be somewhat in the trenches when the moon is waning. Here's where it gets even more intriguing. His powers also interact with his mental state. His DID-infested identities, too, are influenced by the moon cycle, becoming more prominent during specific phases. When the moon is full, Moon Knight's strength peaks, granting him extraordinary combat skills. However, as the moon wanes, his connection to Khonshu diminishes, affecting both his physical prowess and the clarity of his personas. Moon Knight's moon-based powers give him an edge that's unpredictable as the night sky. 
It even has the ability to communicate with the spirit world. Moon Knight's connection with the supernatural doesn't just stop at enhanced physical abilities, by the way. He possesses a unique ability to tap into the spirit world, a trait that adds an eerie twist to his already mysterious persona. In the comics, Moon Knight's link to the spirit world is often depicted through his interactions with Khonshu. This divine connection grants him insight and guidance from beyond the mortal realm. He's been shown communicating with Khonshu's spirit, seeking advice and direction during his vigilantism. One example is when Moon Knight converses with Khonshu's avatar in Moon Knight Volume 8, showcasing his ability to traverse the boundaries between the physical and the spiritual. This communion with the spirit world grants him wisdom and a deeper understanding of his missions. But Moon Knight's connection goes beyond dialogues with the deity. He's also exhibited the power to perceive and communicate with spirits and ghosts. This ability to bridge the gap between the living and the ethereal makes Moon Knight's adventures even more captivating. His journey is a consequence of his own damaged brain, the influence of Khonshu, and the spirits that dwell on the outskirts of reality. Can he absorb the power of other superheroes? When discussing superheroes with extraordinary powers, Moon Knight's name often gets overlooked. Moon Knight's ability to absorb the powers of other superheroes is literally one of the coolest things about him. In Avengers Volume 8 Number 33, Moon Knight faced off against Iron Fist in a battle that showcased his unique ability to absorb the powers of other superheroes. During that encounter, Moon Knight absorbed Iron Fist Chi energy, temporarily enhancing his own combat abilities. By tapping into the mystical energy of Iron Fist, Moon Knight demonstrated his capacity to harness the abilities of other heroes and use them to his advantage. Moon Knight's power absorption is not without its limitations. Although he can temporarily harness the abilities of other superheroes, he cannot retain them indefinitely. Moon Knight's connection to Khonshu grants him the ability to borrow powers for a limited time, after which he reverts to his original capabilities. The limitation adds a sense of urgency and strategic thinking to Moon Knight's battles, as he must make the most of the powers he absorbs within a specific time frame. Moon Knight can summon the army of dead mummies. Moon Knight's connection to Khonshu is essential to Moon Knight's powers and abilities, as it allows him to tap into the ancient Egyptian magic and rituals associated with necromancy. Ancient Egyptian beliefs in the afterlife and the role of mummification are key aspects of Moon Knight's connection to necromancy. In ancient Egypt, the process of mummification was believed to preserve the body for the afterlife, ensuring that the soul could continue its journey. Moon Knight's ability to communicate and control the spirits of the dead stems from this belief system. However, it's important to note that Moon Knight's necromantic powers have limitations. He cannot simply raise any deceased individual. Rather, he can only command the spirits of those who have been mummified according to the ancient Egyptian rituals. Additionally, Moon Knight's control over the dead is not absolute, as he must constantly strive to maintain control over his powers. From a strategic standpoint, his ability to command an army of dead mummies provides him with a distinct advantage in combat. The undead soldiers are relentless, unwavering, and immune to pain, making them formidable allies in Moon Knight's fight against crime and evil. However, losing control could have dire consequences, as the spirits could turn against him or wreak havoc on the living. How does he receive prophetic visions? Moon Knight has been portrayed as having prophetic visions in some comic book storylines. These visions are often linked to his connection with Khonshu. These visions provide Moon Knight with glimpses of the future, guiding his actions and decisions. The source of Moon Knight's prophetic visions can be tracked back to his mystical bond with Khonshu. As the avatar of Khonshu on Earth, Moon Knight shares a unique link with the deity. These visions are usually received during moments of meditation or deep concentration, when Moon Knight attunes himself to the divine energy of Khonshu. In some comic book storylines, these visions serve as both a blessing and a burden, offering Moon Knight glimpses of the challenges and dangers that lie ahead. They guide him in his mission to dispense justice and protect the innocent. However, like any prophetic ability, interpreting these visions can be a challenge, as their meanings can be cryptic and open to various interpretations. Nevertheless, not all of Moon Knight's visions are for the better. They occasionally may come out of the spirit of Khonshu's pettiness as a constant reminder that his life is in God's hands. Does his body feel pain? Moon Knight's relationship with pain is complex. Shaped by his past and his current identity, his body does feel pain, but he has demonstrated a remarkably high pain tolerance. 
a trait possibly forged through his history as a Marine, CIA operative, and mercenary. The majority of the time, both Moon Knight and his opponents suffer from fractured bones, severed limbs, profuse bleeding, and other bodily injuries during one of his cruel, gory, and violent bouts. In this regard, Spectre is revealed to be mostly unharmed by Taskmaster's direct crossbow blast in Moon Knight Volume 5, Number 6, and is still able to decisively defeat his opponent, despite the severity of his wounds. This pain tolerance is a testament to his unyielding will and unwavering commitment to his mission. Moon Knight's time in war zones and violent situations has conditioned him to persevere despite being in pain. Moreover, his struggle with dissociative identity disorder may offer another layer of psychological coping. His fractured identity possibly distances him from pain as he shifts between personas protecting his mind. Does he have hypnotic ability? Similar to Iron Fist, Moon Knight possesses an amazing talent. Mark Spector has the power to hypnotize both allies and enemies by employing the voice of Khonshu. The first time Moon Knight made use of this power was in Moon Knight No. 1, where he demonstrated how Khonshu's voice could be channeled via other individuals to deliver a message. The voice of Khonshu also acts as a mental or self-hypnosis barrier for Moon Knight. Self-hypnosis, often referred to as a method of mental conditioning, is employed by Moon Knight as a means to strengthen his resolve, enhance his abilities, and cope with the challenges he faces. His dissociative identity disorder plays a significant role in his use of self-hypnosis. By using this technique, he can transition between these personas and adapt his mindset to different situations. While we're at it, what do you think of his hypnotic ability? Share it with us in the comments! Moon Knight can resist psychic attacks Moon Knight's remarkable ability to resist psychic intrusion is a testament to his formidable mental resilience and the intricate layers of his character. Rooted in his connection to Khonshu and his dissociative identity disorder, this unique trait sets him apart from many other superheroes. Moon Knight's mental defenses prove their strength when faced with psychic attacks. In encounters like the one with the criminal telepath Holly in Moon Knight, Volume 9, Number 2, he showcases an uncanny ability to turn the tables on intruders. As Holly attempts to breach his mind, Moon Knight's sheer determination and mental conditioning allow him to swiftly overpower the telepath rendering him incapacitated. Moon Knight's DID with its various personas adds complexity to his resistance. The fractured nature of his mind serves as a barrier against unwanted psychic access, making his thoughts a challenging puzzle to decipher. His communication to Khonshu further strengthens his defense. Moon Knight's bond with ancient Egyptian deity grants him a unique mental landscape, almost like poison ground, making it difficult for telepaths to infiltrate and control. This ability isn't just about protecting his thoughts. His resistance to psychic intrusion emphasizes his identity as a vigilante with a psychological edge capable of confronting adversaries not only physically but also mentally. Does he have a healing ability? In the comics, Moon Knight's recovery from injuries outpaces that of regular humans, a vital element that fuels his unique combat style. Known as the Fist of Khonshu, he's famed for his fearless and unpredictable approach. Instead of dodging, he absorbs hits and presses on, keeping enemies off balance. This trait makes him a mystifying opponent in battle, so much so that even Taskmaster admits that he couldn't mimic Moon Knight's swift moves. Mark Spector's unconventional tactics can be traced, in part to his rapid healing ability. His body repairs itself quickly, sparing him the worry of enduring heavy blows like many other street-level heroes. His healing factor seemed to respond to the moonlight, which also blasts him with super strength. The comics wove his powers to the moon's phase, peaking with strength during full moons, a harmony that extended to his healing powers. He shrugs off explosions, bullets, and energy barrages. The question of Moon Knight's mortality has sparked debates about his potential immortality. Stick around, we might talk about that later. Does he have any love interest? Can he reproduce? Guys, by the end of the day, Moon Knight is literally just a man. In his complex life, matters of the heart have weaved their way into his narrative. One of the significant relationships is with Echo, Maya Lopez, a skilled fighter and artist who shares a deep connection with Moon Knight's alter ego, Mark Spector. Their bond is built on understanding and shared experiences, and Echo's presence in his life adds layers of emotion to his story. While he's had various relationships over the years, one of the most notable is with Marlene Alroni. Their bond has deep roots. 
With Marlene being both his former lover and confidant, their relationship gives Moon Knight's vigilante adventure emotional depth and reveals the frailty hiding underneath his mysterious veneer. As for reproduction, Moon Knight's ability to father a child is a topic that has been explored in the comics. He does have a daughter named Diatrice, who was a result of a relationship Moon Knight had with Marlene. While his superhero duties often make maintaining familial relationships challenging, his daughter serves as a reminder of the human side of Mark Spector. His daughter's presence in his life adds a dynamic twist, emphasizing the interplay between Moon Knight's dual identities, the protector of the night and the father who must navigate the complexities of raising a child while bearing the mantle of a vigilante. This dichotomy highlights the multi-dimensional nature of Moon Knight's character, where love, responsibility, and heroism intersect in intriguing ways. Is Moon Knight immortal? The age-old question, and the answer is, well, yes, but actually no. Moon Knight's immortality is a concept that has generated discussions and intrigue in the comics. While Moon Knight isn't traditionally portrayed as completely immortal, his connection to the moon god Khonshu has led to a unique form of quasi-immortality, intertwined with certain conditions. Khonshu, the Egyptian deity who empowers Moon Knight, has been shown to have the ability to resurrect Mark Spector. This has happened on multiple occasions, suggesting that Moon Knight's relationship with Khonshu grants him a form of limited immortality. These resurrections, however, usually have conditions attached, often requiring Moon Knight to continue serving as Khonshu's sidekick. The idea of Moon Knight's immortality revolves around his purpose as Khonshu's agent. While he can die, the connection to Khonshu's powers ensures that his life is bound to the Moon God's will. This makes him a rather confusing figure whose existence walks on the edge of mortality and eternity. Marvelous Verdict We think he's just really cool. With more personalities than an average high schooler, he's the master of midnight justice, rocking a costume that's the envy of fashion-forward aliens across the galaxy. Also, his connection to Khonshu is like getting life advice from a long-distant internet best friend. Who wouldn't want that? He can heal faster than you can list all of his names, and his moon-themed gear is so on point. On top of that, in a world where heroism is often defined by superhuman feats, Moon Knight's legacy offers an alternative perspective. His story underscores the significance of internal struggles, making him a super relatable hero. He's the vigilante who keeps villains guessing, remember his psychic abilities, and fans on the edge of their seats. So grab your popcorn, cue the moonlight, and join us through the wild world of Moon Knight. If you like this video, do let us know in the comments below. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.